All right, you guys, so I'm starting out with a new video. I'm going to do another app review, this time on Samsung Pay. So people are saying I should have changed up my last app review video a little bit on Disney+. Plus. I will probably link that um, in the description below or put it at the end of the video so you guys can check that out. Um, otherwise, uh, today I'm going on to, over Samsung Pay in a little bit different format, so let me know if you guys like it. So once you get Samsung Pay, you get, your, you get the app, you get your card on the app. Then what you're allowed to do on your Samsung phone is swipe up from the bottom. That'll pull up your card, and then you can have different things to basically um, authenticate that you're the one using your card. So either a password, um, facial recognition. I use my fingerprint, so I use my fingerprint, and then it opens up basically the payment method for the card, and it starts card, and it starts sending out the signal to pay um, for whatever you're trying to pay for. Now let me just go back really quick. So that's basically how you pay. You swipe up, you use your fingerprint. You can use that also. Um, without the phone being unlocked, but again, that's why you do need your fingerprint or some sort of code, um, so that way somebody else can't just find your phone and use your card. Um, now, once you're in this screen, uh, you can swipe left and right between different cards that you have. You can get um, membership cards on here, which I think is pretty cool. So if you go to Walgreens, Sam's Club, anything like that, you can basically put all those cards in here and then just keep swiping over until you find your store. You can use your phone. It basically eliminates having all the other cards in your wallet, which is obviously what the point of technology is and uh, why we use it. Uh, so that's pretty awesome, um, just eliminating those, that extra bloat that you have to have in your wallet and trying to get it so you just have to use your phone. Um, what else you can do, so actually let's go over some more of that membership. So you push the membership button. I don't have any cards at the moment, but you can add a card and it goes through the settings. That's going to show you all the cards that you can put on here. And you can also search specific cards, and if they don't have a card that you, know, you want on here, you can enter it in manually. Um, so if I go back, then you can also, there's a transfer button, you can also transfer funds between one card to another card, um, or a gift card or something like that. Again, I don't have any other cards on here, so I'm not going to do that today. But then the last button in this screen is going to be your rewards. So with your rewards, every time you spend money on the Samsung app, you basically get points. So now you can see I have 44 points, you can hit redeem points, and then it gives you options to basically use your points to use um, to get different things or to kind of gamble those points away and try to win something um, for less points um, on the app. So say you right now 44 points, this is going to cost me 20,000. If I had those 20,000 points, I could redeem and get this. So basically you get some um, free perks for just using the app um, with any card on here. And then if we go back to the main screen again, there's two other buttons on the bottom right now are on the pay screen, but if you hit me, it's going to show you how many gift cards you have, how many membership cards you have, how many credit debit cards you have. You're going to be able to swipe through all the your recent purchases from whatever card, and it's going to show that below, which I think is really nice. It's really easy to keep track of your spending. And then you scroll down a little more, and it shows you your points again. Um, and it kind of goes through different levels. The more you spend on your card or using the app, it's going to give you different, um, basically, you're going to be able to level up. So right now I'm at platinum level this month. And just another thing that the card kind of offers and gives you, but I'm um, not that big of a deal. And then from there you can go home. Now this is by far probably the least important thing or the least thing you'll ever use. You're probably going to be using those pay and me options when you're using the app because that's for everything um, that's kind of functional is. The home is just going to give you different deals. It's kind of like bloat in the app. Um, if you want to shop at Nike 15% off, it's going to um, show you Groupon deals, it's basically a bunch of stuff I don't think you're ever really going to use. Um, and then you can swipe through some of the other options on top of this page to get you back to the other pages. But again, home is basically just a bunch of deals trying to sell you stuff. What you're going to be using is the pay and the me options um, on this, that's going to be a lot more helpful for you. And one thing I will say is when you're using Samsung Pay, um, it's actually really nice because using a chip reader takes so long. When you get on the app, or when you're on this app, you use your fingerprint scanner and it starts sending out that signal. As soon as you put that up to the machine, it scans it and you're like basically ready to go. You can just hit um, no or yes for credit or debit. You don't have to sit there with your chip in for 10 seconds. It's just immediate and that's really nice. Um, so if you guys did like this video, let me know. Please give it a thumbs up if there's anything else you want to know. Um, about the app or you want me to actually go out and try it. Um, let me know that as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and thank you. Carter Pro out.